So I flew back to Colorado Springs this week, uh, back to where Carrie and I lived for the first eight or nine years that we were married, and and even actually went back to uh, to some of the to spaces and places that were important to us. And when I pulled onto uh, the property of the church that we used to go to, and we learned to to serve together and love people together and all that, when I pulled onto the property and went into the living room for the first time over in the worship center, or went into the uh, to the well prayer center for the first time, I got to tell you, uh, it, it's been ten years, and uh, man, I was I was having the feels. I was absolutely um, just having a moment. And I got to tell you, as profound as it was to pull into the parking lot and just kind of be back to this place, um, it was nothing compared to uh, the moment when I actually ran into some friends that I hadn't seen in 10 years. And, uh, you know, I wonder, I wonder if, if you go down, maybe, maybe you go down memory lane a little bit sometimes and you realize that, you know, it's not the places that are important, though they are cool. But it's the memories that are we are when we're with other people. You know, maybe maybe it's the people that make those places powerful and potent to us. And man, as I was sitting there and we were we were sharing memories over the past ten years and the dreams as as Lance Coles and Glenn Packiam and and Ross Parsley kind of wrap, wrap their arms around me. And I'm talking to to Phil McCallum. I'm sitting there and I'm like, ah. And at one point, I actually had to pull myself away and go go into a laundry room because I was kind of a mess, right? And man, I was like, ah. I've, I've lost contact with, with these friends and, and man, I, I lost that. I lost that. But it, it took flying across the United States and sitting there and being in the same place and go, man, I needed that. I needed that. And you know what I wonder? I wonder if that's kind of, kind of like what life has been like in the pandemic for lots of really good reasons. We've kind of lost connection with other people. And while I had to fly across the United States to reconnect with these old friends, most of us don't have to do that. All we have to do is walk out and say, hey, remember me? And I just thought, you know, man, wouldn't it be, wouldn't it be that, that if it's that simple? We all do need to have friends in our life that, are, um, that, that aren't just yesterday or that aren't just on the other side of, of a screen. We need friends that have been running with us for 15, 20 years. And uh, the only way to get those or the only way to get those back is to walk out and say, hey, and, uh, and maybe we should just do that. Maybe, maybe we should just go take a step out because here's the thing. We all know we need it. You know, it, it didn't, it, it doesn't take too many reminders to know that it's just not good for a human being to be alone. In fact, I think I read that somewhere once. In fact, you know, it is the very first thing God said about a human being is it's not good for us to be alone. So man, I'm glad I came back to this place. I'm glad I, I, I made some, 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 some new memories in these places, but I'm super excited about rekindling these friends and hope you can take a chance and do the same.